All right, Jay, let's make a tutorial on how you lay wood flooring out. Um, here, let's cut this bundle open. Got a knife? Yeah, I got it. Here. Let's cut this bundle open, avalanche it down, and then we sort it out. We find the largest down to the smallest. Basically, large, medium, and small. The large go to the left, the medium stay in the middle. And so it's easier to open them this way. Yeah. And the medium. Oh. Uh, and the smalls go to the right. You throw those. Go ahead, avalanche it this way. Great, we got a lot of large ones in there already. Go on, G, show us how you sort them. So to lay out a random pattern, Sounds funny you say random and you say pattern, but random is a pattern. To lay out a random pattern, start by what we call making stairs. You take the longest board, then the next, and 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 so on. And you do that for at least four or five boards, maybe, I don't know, as many as you can. And then you, you start over again over there. Over here, we started with that. So now you have your nice stairs built, this zigzag pattern. Then you take your medium and your longest boards and you slide those into place, going from the longest down to the smallest. But they, it's best if they're kind of similar size, but maybe just a few inches shorter each time or six inches shorter each time is fine. So then now we have another stairs that are happening. And this way you have no lines that are, you have nothing that's lining up like one and one. Cause that's horrible. That's called a holiday. You can't have that. You can't have a holiday or a, a line lining up with another line within at least four or five boards of each other, otherwise that looks really bad. All right, so you film me now. I'm gonna put these in. You ready? They're all spread out. Okay, good, let me get my gloves on. Film me nice, keep me in frame. being a tough guy and not using gloves because this stuff is full of splinters and man they are skinny and they stay in there and they hurt and you have them for days and days and days because you can't get them out. Alright so longest board here's to be this one great that's gonna stay right there notch it in notch it in Gee, give us a good angle. Stand over there and see what happens. I am. I got you here. Okay. And then here looks like the next longest one. Yes, that's right. Boom. There goes the next longest one. And you keep approximating and grabbing which is the next longest one. Zoom in a little to show them that I'm finding that this is the next longest one. Don't get something paper. Boom. Okay, that's long as well. Now there's guys that do this very fast. I'm just talking and putting them in casually, but to stay productive and make money, you gotta do this quickly. Or, well actually there's no more. To be productive, you gotta do this quickly, but if you follow this method, you don't have to go that fast because you're doing it good and correct the first time. All right, good, the stairs are coming out nice. I'm grabbing from these blocks. Boom.
Point out the steps right here. Point them out to them. Yeah, the steps are still continuing. But as you do this, they start getting farther and farther away from each other. And that'll start making concerns for lining up with other boards. Now it's time you got to start watching for those and compensate for it as you lay out. Um, this is a main focal point, so I want to keep staying with long boards. Go ahead, avalanche us another row. I'm going down there. Though. Yeah, go down there. I got to get all the long ones out of that one. Like these mediums that are sorted out now, they'll be going in, but you also have to keep in mind, you know, you want to, where do you want to see your nicest boards? You really want to see the nicest ones in the main areas. And then you hide small pieces in the corners, in the corners, non-focal areas, in the corners, back over there, all of your cuts. Oh yeah, that's, that's beautiful. I haven't seen one that long. There it is. You're in. These guys are in the way. This bundle's not too loaded up with big stuff. That's right. Look, all this stuff to the right looks pretty good over here. No, no, we don't want that. But anyways, gra grab us all. Grab all of those and pile them up on this. We're going to walk down here with it. Pile them all up. That's it. Grab all the big All the big things. How about those three in the back over there? There's plenty there. Yeah, those. To your right. All those. Give us give us those. Those are okay. Keep going. I see at least I see at least six more that we could grab. Good morning, boss. I'm making a tutorial how to lay out floors for my YouTube. I'm going to get some lunch. You got a sandwich or anything? Gerald needs food always. Gee, don't be shy. The boss is offering. Just make it easy. Uh, chicken chicken parm. That's fine. All right, that's fine. That's perfect. No, you, nothing for me. I'm, I'm doing no carbs. So. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. That's really kind. Thank you very much. Okay, ready? Yeah, come on down. What a nice guy, huh? Yeah. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Go ahead. Drop him right here. Yeah. Here, film me. I, I'll, I'll grab him. I'll grab him. I'm, I'm all over this. Ah. Go ahead, you film me. Stand right there. Still going, yeah. Still going, right? Yeah. situation where you'd have a holiday. No bueno. Come over here. Boom, like that. Switch them up. These, you don't want big spaces like this either, but they happen and you just deal with them. All right, what do we got? I'm going to try to burn these. Oh, 
Nu er vi her. Twelve minutes, you know. Come on, follow me. That's right. You gotta. Sh you gotta show this for a few minutes so folks, folks can see. Continue with. Wait, these guys are kind of long. I'm overlooking them. Too close. Too close, yeah. This one will be nice there. That's, That's fine. That brings me back That's to where fine. I want to be, is basically six or eight inches away from the last one. Beautiful. Right, yeah. Let me show them when it's done. You put that one there. All right, why not? This is the size we're working with now, anyways. That's too short. Too short. Here. Turn around. Like it? Good. Good. Let me show them a room that's done. Look here. Separate all the shorties. Onto this, onto this gravel, yeah, yeah. and then go ahead and keep filling us with whatever like mediums we got left here. So there we go. I'll show you how. All right. So we start. We started with this room. Started with this room. What, what I did was determine if these walls are straight, which they are. Then I started my first board underneath this radiator. Basically the, a pencil width away from the wall. The wall was straight. So it's at least a quarter of an inch off the wall. Put down my first two lines. Then I started laying the stairs here. There's the stairs. Now this is ready for nailing. This is ready for nailing. The person will come with, come with the nailer and knock them all in. Now, when you come to the end, come to the end of the room. There's a technique you use over here. Come to the end of the room. Come to the end of the room. Then, you take, here's the last board. There's the last board. There's the last board jogged in. Now you got to cut a piece to go here. So, this is the way they're supposed to go. You turn it around. Make a mark right there. Cut it. Then you turn it and you put it in. So, as you get to the end of the room, you keep turning boards. You keep turning boards turning boards to accommodate for all the cuts you need to make. Turning boards, turning boards, and you, 
you randomize it so that nothing lines up with each other. And that's how you do a random pattern. That's how you do the random pattern. All of those are the cut pieces. Those are waiting for somebody to put the saw over here. You get a little working area. Once you finally build some out, you could cut in the corner there. Then you keep, keep going this way. This will be fun. Over here, we'll use a carpenter's tool to scribe on the wood. I'll set the gauge and I'll set the gauge and scribe that to fit nice to there. And I'll show you how that comes out later. Okay, so this room is all laid out. Then, anticipating coming up to this area, we stop, leave it like this. You're going to have to grab boards at the end to fill this in, but. Oh, and here, we're burning it, it's called burning it. We got all of our little shorties over here. They're kind of fading into this corner because more often than not, you look at a room and you say, how would most people decorate this? Something's gonna be going on over here. Maybe, maybe not, but more often than not, and couch or something has to go along here. I would assume this has to look great. And this has to look great. So I put all of my big boards, the ones that look the nicest, around there. Gee, what's going on? Nice. Don't worry about getting to the end. We could go halfway there and then make a cut. Yeah. Exactly, we don't want tiny, tiny cuts. Good, throw this one in here now. Throw this one in here now. Boom. It's too close. No, all right. Yeah, you're right. I don't like that. That's just crap. Yeah. Save that for another one. Let's see what I got. That's good, yeah. That's fine? That's good. Grab the next one. Can you see what's going on? You got to see which is the next biggest. That one. Nice. Don't be cheap about notching them in. I'm trying to. Okay, good. Got it? Yeah. Good. This guy's not notched. There, okay. you're in, you're in. Whoa. Here, this piece looks nice for him. That's good for there. Yep. This one's tasty. This guy. All right, good. I'm gonna put the camera down now so we can get busy on some of this and I'll film again in a minute.